Well, I'm about to enter or get close to my five weeks post knee replacement. And some exciting things have happened this week. So funny, some things are happening slowly, some things are happening quickly. So I guess it's a little bit of both. So I've been practicing really hard at therapy on stairs because to get to my art studio, I've got to go up seven, eight, and four stairs. And that's and there's a little landing each time. So the first time I tried, I made it up one set of stairs and then I got very weak. So I practiced harder and so today, I went up all the stairs. Yes, I stopped on every landing and took a breather and then made it all the way to the top. Got to my studio, tried sitting in my chair. It was okay, it was okay. So I'm hoping next week, Roger can maybe go drop me off and let me try to paint some for maybe an hour or so, just so I can get back into the swing of things. But that was very exciting. The next thing that has to happen is I have to be able to really ride the bicycle um, and make the wheels, the pedals go all the way around. And so I can do it very, very, very slowly and push really far back when my feet barely hit the pedals. But I did five minutes the other day, so in order to drive, I have to be able to do that. And I think we're gonna move on to, um, I don't know if it's an elliptical machine or a stair step machine or the total body thing. Anyway, they've, they've got to get some weight on these legs. So, I mean, weight, not fat, but weight, so that um, I can push the pedal in case I had to slam the brake on for an emergency. Like the other day, somebody pulled right in front of us and Roger had to slam the brake on and I couldn't do that yet. So those are the little things that have to happen over the next few weeks. I also, not to be so boring here, but I also got my hair done today. So the gray could be gone, but the main thing was I could actually go and sit in the chairs and, and get to the, the bowl to wash the hair. I mean, I can do all that. And that was like, maybe I was gone for about an hour and a half. So what we did today so far, got my hair done. From there, I went to the office, the real estate office, take care of some business there and then headed over to my art studio to pick up a painting that had been sold that I needed to ship out. Took it to the shipper, got it shipped, ran to the grocery store for just a little bit, small grocery store, to get a few items I need for the weekend and um, then came home and <laughs> iced my knee down. So I was actually gone for three and a half hours, which is a huge amount of time for me to be out and about. I'm sure I will pay for it tonight because that's what happens. It'll start hurting later today, but now, I am having a good day. Well, to finish this video, so <clears throat> tomorrow is week five from knee replacement. And today I actually got my bike to go around for six and a half minutes, spinning, not as slowly as I was going before, a little faster. And I was able to pull it uh, in another notch, which means I wasn't as far away. You probably can't tell the difference, but to me, I can tell the difference. And so that's really, really good. I was able to bend my knee at 104 degrees on my own. And then I don't know if it's, we were placed at 110 or so uh, with her doing it, but um, it's just it's just moving really easily. Just, you know, when you hit my pain tolerance, I'm done. So there you go. Week five, uh, we're waiting for company to come in for the weekend. I went to the, Roger to me to the grocery store again today and I was able to wheel around um, using a shopping cart and got all the items we needed. Um, kind of slow, but I got it done. So now I'm, yes, icing my knee, which is what we do a lot here. Icing the knee. And this is not with my machine. This is just, just regular ice because um, it's, it's really sore from um, therapy. I love going to therapy. I love watching the healing process, seeing that I'm doing better every week, things that were really hard for me to do. Uh, four weeks ago, or actually three weeks ago in therapy, we're just getting easier and easier to do. Some things are still really hard, but you know, we're making progress. So it's all about the progress. So I'm just going to say happy Easter, everyone.